surgery. More and more people are uh, opting for outpatient facilities, but are these surgery centers the right place for you? Joanne Purton is here with ways to ensure your safety so you don't waste your money, Joanne. Yeah, Carolyn, these are freestanding facilities designed to get you in and out on the same day, sometimes in just a few hours and often for less money. But Consumer Reports has important advice about who may want to consider one of these centers when they go under the knife and who should not. Tom Bly is having his meniscus repaired at this ambulatory surgery center. He says his teenage daughter had surgery here a year ago and was impressed with the facility. We were able to come in an hour or so before the surgery and uh, leave that afternoon. It was great. We really pride ourselves on trying to run our schedule in a very uh, efficient way and try to avoid delays as much as possible. An ambulatory surgery center often provides faster registration and discharge procedures and can cost less out of pocket than inpatient surgery in a hospital. But ambulatory surgery centers are not for everyone. Elderly people and those with serious medical conditions may be safer in a hospital. For people with serious conditions like obesity, lung or heart problems, even the simplest surgery can trigger complications that may need hospital facilities. Before you opt for surgery at an ambulatory surgery center that is not affiliated with a hospital, check the center's certification. Some may not be held to the same standards as hospitals. The center should be CMS certified, meaning it adheres to Medicare standards, as this one does. Also, ask about the ASC's emergency plan. It's important to know if there is resuscitative equipment on site and how you would be transferred to a hospital if that became necessary. Consumer Reports also advises asking about the surgeon's experience. They say the doctor should have performed your type of surgery at least 50 times in the last year, they say. So a lot to consider there before you make the decision. Sounds like you always have to do your homework always. and go through your checklist, well, right? You know, hospitals also have a lot of people who are sick there, so there are all sorts of germs floating around. Maybe the surgical centers don't have that kind of issue. You'd think so. Another good no, thing to so. consider. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Joanne. Yep.